No women talk to me, so I'm going to talk with you. Have conversation. Do the bong bong or do the tango? What, what, what are we doing dang here? Dang it, dang it, dang it. A one on one debate with me, I'll pick the Asian. Mess. Are you? Take off your no, mess. no. It's getting a little physical. We need a mental care. Did this Asian guy handle this confrontation correctly? And what do you think you would have done? All right, everybody, we got sent this viral TikTok that everybody is talking about. This is a real life altercation that happened on the New York subway between an Asian couple and a drunk non-Asian dude. I mean, this drunk guy is telling the Asian couple to take off their masks. There's an altercation that takes place. I mean, we got to give our analysis, break it down clip by clip, because I do think there's a lot of things that Asians can take away from this incident. All right, let's start with the beginning. It's not your business, man. The government said you can. What the government is lying. The government is lying. Don't touch me, man. Hey, fuck off, man. Take off your mask. Who the fuck are you? Take off your fucking mask. Who are you? Take off your mask. No. Right off the bat, Andrew, this looks like it's about to be an incident for Asian hate. <laughs> this is an interesting scene, man. We got a tall, clean-cut Asian dude. Looks like he has a good job. He just got done, uh, you know, at Top Golf or whatever because he has one golf club. And then we got this drunk guy with a heavy accent. I don't want to claim which country he's from, but he, Middle Eastern, Eastern European. I, he kind of sure. sounds like Borat. Looks like Ari Shapiro. Lead them, man. Take off your mask. I would say he has a classic drunkard outfit on like yeah. that's uh you know he's got the brooks running shoes doesn't look super threatening but his voice is very loud and very deep shout out to the asian guy for standing up for himself obviously the dude is yelling at both him and his wife however david do we think that the guy approached them because they're asian because there's other non-asian people with masks on on the train and i just have a feeling he, he wasn't gonna do that to other people yeah i think whether consciously or subconsciously a lot of people drunk people included make that read where it's like ah i want to have a debate uh, with somebody in public force them into a one-on-one -on -one debate with me i'll pick the asian because there's no downside for me they, uh, they they seem good at debating they like to talk and they're not going to say no and um they're not going to beat me up i heard asians are very smart and do well in school well this should be like a socratic seminar and he might enjoy this maybe this is a educational session ah! There's no free country if you wear a mask for f***ing nothing. It's a f***ing lie. You think it's nothing? I Go think it's something. Go tell your mom that. Go tell your mom. Talk, talk to me. Go tell your parents. Take off your f***ing mask. No. No. Take off your mask. What are you going to do? I don't do nothing, but take off your mask. No. There's a free country and Thank this you. is no freedom. This one, it's my freedom. Oh man, right now it's almost like a comedy sketch from Mad TV. What is this, curb your enthusiasm? Like the guy's like, what are you gonna do? So the Asian guy tests him and he's, I mean, I'm just saying, if you ask some people, what are they gonna do? You gotta be ready for what they wanna do. And then the guy goes, nothing. I just want to talk to you. I'm lonely. Yeah, <laughs> but it is true that his voice is aggressive and yeah. it is loud. I'm telling you, there's so many different segments of the population. How they would deal with this is so different. There's people who would have already hauled off and punched this guy at this point. There's people who would have already tried to switch cars, move to the other side of the car, and then yeah. switch again. And there's people who, like this Asian guy, have chosen to engage in almost like verbal debate. Yeah, and I don't think anything is wrong, guys. Like, first of all, I think a lot of Asian people would have ended the interaction and left and exited the scene. Uh, this guy keeps it going, but I I'm curious to see what else the Asian guy got planned. Covid doesn't exist. You're yelling at fucking my hey, hey, don't touch me. Hey, don't touch me. Don't yell at my wife. Don't fuck you up, man. I'm yelling. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, you fuck me up. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. Easy. 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 What the fuck are we doing? Easy. Easy. What the fuck are we doing? Raise your fucking voice. This was the by the government. What's supposed to do? Okay, it's getting a little physical. Bro, when you grab the shirt, I'm just saying, I, I shout out to the Asian guy because I can tell he's going through a range of emotions right now, right? He's trying to understand, like, should I debate with this guy or should I fight this guy? I want to punch this guy, but I'm going to grab this guy. He's yelling at my wife, but then he's not punching it. I'm just saying, random people on the subway that are drunk, if you do grab their shirt, you have to be ready for what might come after. And, and what might come after is violence. It kind of reminds me of, like, protesters versus counter-protesters, the sort of interaction you see, like, in Washington Square park or any sort of like major city when the vaxxers meet the anti-vaxxers you know people don't fully know how to react they're like are we gonna keep it political like a forum or like right. national forensics league or is this gonna go to the streets 
Yeah, he's definitely battling with himself. So I want to sympathize with the Asian dude because he's he's just being very emotional right and now. But I think fair, a lot of people would be. Yeah, to be fair, to a lot of people, the situation would be unclear how to proceed. I can tell the gears are turning in his mind. He's calculating the risk of fighting this guy and striking out. So he does something in between. But I'm not sure if I, I fully would have done that. I do think if the drunk guy starts wrestling with him, he probably is at least going to try to take him down. I think the Asian guy would fight back. Let's see. Hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm just talking with you, man. I'm just talking with you. Sit down. Sit I'm just talking with you. I don't have to fight with you, motherfucker. All right, so this is pretty interesting. This is almost going down like a basketball fight. Because a lot of fights on the basketball court, you know, a lot of people are like, man, y'all ain't trying to do nothing. Yeah. Like, you know, there's a lot of pushing. There's a lot of posturing. But, you know, at the end of the day, basketball is not that violent of a sport, you know, relative to football or something like that. And I think a lot of people else that are on the subway are kind of thinking like, yo, how long are you guys going to do this for? Like, without the action, like, you need to end this or someone needs to get punched or something. Now, I will say the Asian guy... He's telling him, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And it's clear that the other guy is not really trying to get violent. I could see some Spanish guys watching on the train like, hey, papi, papi, <laughs> when are you guys going? How long are you guys going to tango, okay? You guys are either going to uh, throw the bang bang or do the tango. What, what, what are we doing dang here? Dang-a-da, dang-a-da, dang-a-da. Fucking freedom. It's freedom, dude. It's freedom. Freedom? freedom. freedom. Fucking hell. Freedom has fucking hell. Fucking hell. Shut up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, man. Okay, all right. So now... I feel like the Asian dude was trying to snap him out of what he thought was a psychosis. Like, wake up, dude. Wake up from this dream. And then he's yeah. clapping his hands like he's hitting a fly. Not like he's clapping like defense. He's clapping like. Yeah, I think the first time I watched this, I was like, man, is this guy still trying to fight when the other guy made it clear that he's not trying to fight? But actually, he's almost got like a Shutter Island, like, you know, TikTok stopwatch thing. Like, dude, break out of it. You're clearly in a drunken stupor. Let me take you out of the sunken place. Yeah, it's starting to feel like an intervention between like a drunk friend and a more intense friend. This is the public Broadway theater of New York life. All right, to do with all right. my family this has nothing to do with because i need i think you need a fucking mental care for your fucking parents we you need a fucking mental care i don't need any fucking mental care man you need you need it you guys you don't fucking randomly you drop guys have to the why like are you that? wearing a we need a mental care for you. I mean, to be fair, obviously, I do not think that English is the native language of either of these combatants in this situation. That's why it is so cringy, possibly for people on the outside looking in. You know, I feel the Asian guy because he's going through anger, dismissal, you know, this whole arc of emotions. And then he's back on like, dude, you're clearly like not mentally right. Try to get out of it, bro. You need help. Talk to your parents to get the intervention you need. I think watching this video is important because you can learn something from it. And what you can learn is that you learn that you need to have a plan when these type of altercations happen. Because guess what? As an Asian person in New York City riding the subway or almost any big city, it's gonna happen again. You're gonna have these micro to mid-level aggressions on you. And maybe no one says anything explicitly about your race, like this guy didn't, right? He didn't mention anything about him being Asian, but you just got to have a plan on how you're going to handle it. And you got to have protocol with how you're going to handle it, especially with your girl around too. Yeah, I would mostly suggest de-escalating and exiting the situation rather than turning this into a two-man, like Broadway, emotional, like <laughs> display or whatever for everybody else. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it because there's some theatrical aspects that I enjoyed. It's like two strangers, you know, just their stars yeah. cross. It's almost like the dude, oh, I just got back from the bar. No women talk to me, so I'm going to talk with you. Have conversation. Come on, man to man. Okay. It doesn't make sense, dude. Wake up. It doesn't make Wake any up. sense, dude. Wake up. Hey, hey, think logically. Wake up. Be logical. I dude, am. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. And this, this is continuing for a couple of years. People are hostage by the government. Can you believe this guy? Yeah. Fucking hell. You're sick, man. You still believe you're that? You're sick. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You are all brainwashed, man. You are all brainwashed. Get out. 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 Get out.
All right, what a weird ending. He he tries to shake his good game, man. It was good talking. Good scene. F off, F off, good man. scene. And then everybody else in the train is like, cut. Man, you should have cut this sketch a long time ago. No, that's what uh, the Dominican guy, the Puerto Rican guy, Papi, 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 end scene, the end scene, okay? You're like, uh, you had to go to five minutes. You guys are talking too long. Donzo, Donzo, please, stop. I think that the main thing to really take away from this is that if you're the Asian guy, I get it. You know, the whole crowd is watching, the camera's on you, you know you're about to go viral, but... You know, I think it's okay to play with it. It all worked out in this scenario. But as a general rule of thumb, you do not want to engage in this type of, like, drunken debate. You know, you're sober. You just came back from golfing. This guy's completely drunk, lonely, wants to have a philosophical macro debate in front of, like, 50 people. It's just not the thing you want to escalate from a 3 to a 4 to a 5 to a 6. You know, I think everybody prepares for 10 out of 10 incidents, but this was a 3. You got to know how to move it to a 2, to a 1, to a 0, rather than going up. Yeah, as it turns out, my feeling about the drunk Borat guy is that he actually enjoyed it. He just wanted to have a verbal debate and maybe practice English with somebody. To be honest, man, like, I'm just saying. So he is kind of walking away, kind of satisfied, like, yeah, I did my thing, haha. -ha. I got on video, now people see me maybe girl like me bulgarian girl at bar i like her and then but then the asian guy is going to be worked up and, and he's going to be reviewing the game tape he's going to be watching this video all over the internet maybe he's watching this video and he's gonna be like damn it i could have said this and that no, he's Why gonna be I taking like a this? shower just yeah, be in the middle of the damn. shower watching this ah God, i i was about to say that you know how after every altercation you always go back like 30 minutes later, be like, ooh, that was not no, the right thing to say. No, you, stupid, stupid. Or, or you go, ooh, that would have been a bar. Yeah. But I didn't say it. Listen, I know a lot of guys on the internet, especially the Asian guys in the, you know, the Reddit forums, they're like, dude, I wish he hit him with the one hit or quitter. I'm like, listen, that's a lot to ask from people who are not used to doing that. If you're not good at throwing punches or used to throwing punches, that's a hard thing to do. Plus, I'm not going to lie. I think this guy might have been outside of his weight class. So anyways, I just think that, you know, it's not as simple as, oh, I should have just punched this guy. It can be. The most simplest answer is to exit out of that situation. Long story short, guys, I think that more and more Asians can expect this type of three out of 10 interaction. I know in the news, the headlines are dominated by 10 out of 10 intensity, but I think when you have a three out of 10 intensity, this one ended up being very theatrical, very whimsical, very much like Broadway. However, it can get crazy. So I think that everybody just got to decide for themselves and just know just because the camera's on you, just because everybody's watching, mm. you do not need to make it a scene, even though I get it. Believe me, I understand as an entertainer, <laughs> it can be enjoyable to like make a scene in front of everybody. You know, there's the theater of public life. However, you know, I'm just saying, I think that a lot more people are going to encounter this situation moving forward. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do, huh? 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 Bro, bro. All right, everybody, to wrap it up, I'm just glad that everybody walked out of this situation unscathed. But I think it was a learning lesson for everybody, so please watch it. Think about what you would do. Leave it in the comments down below what you thought about this video. Uh, what would you have realistically done? Because I know a lot of people out there on the internet like to be keep oh, I would have. I would have hit him I, with the Ryu <laughs> hot. I would have put him in a full Nelson and thrown him off the chain. Be real. Be real, guys. But yes, um, again, learning lesson just to take it seriously. Uh, we can all take something away from this. So thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. New York subway between the. <laughs>